This video will cover a solution guide to problem 52 from chapter 1. Three horizontal ropes pull on a large stone stuck in the ground, producing the vector forces A, B, and C. Find the magnitude and direction of a fourth force on the stone that will make the vector sum of the four forces zero. We want the summation of forces on the rock to be equal to zero. To do this, we need to set the sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero, and the summation of forces in the y direction also equal to zero. So first we need to split up the three forces we do have into x and y components in order to add the vectors together. Because the a vector is in the first quadrant, both its x and y components are positive. ax is adjacent to the angle given, so it's equal to the magnitude of a times a cosine of 30 degrees, and ay is opposite to the angle and is therefore equal to the magnitude of a times a sine of 30 degrees. b is in the second quadrant, so its x component is negative, but its y component is positive. Its x component is opposite to the angle that was given, so bx is equal to the magnitude of b times the sine of 30 degrees, and its y component is adjacent and equals the magnitude of b times the cosine of 30 degrees. The c vector is in the third quadrant, making both of its components negative. Its x component is adjacent to the angle that was given, so it is equal to the magnitude of c times the cosine of 53 degrees, and the y component is then equal to the magnitude of c times the sine of 53 degrees. We were asked for the magnitude of a fourth vector that would make the total force on the rock zero, so we'll just make up a fourth vector d and set its x and y components equal to dx and dy. Now, if we add up all the x components of the vector and set that equal to zero, we can calculate the value of dx. The same can be done for the y components. So we have both of the components of our fourth vector, both of which are negative, telling us that our vector lies somewhere in the third quadrant. If we sketch out the components on our diagram and do graphical vector addition, we can get a sense of how large the fourth vector will be and also get a better understanding of what angle we'll be talking about when we try to determine the direction it points. The picture above is pretty close to being the scale, so just by looking at it, we can see that its magnitude will probably be somewhere between that of A and B, and when we solve for the angle, it will be the angle the vector makes with the negative x-axis. To solve for the magnitude of the d vector, we take the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. Doing this tells us that the magnitude of the fourth vector needs to be about 90.2 newtons. To find the angle, we can simply take the inverse tangent of the y component over the x component. This gives that theta is equal to 75.5 degrees below the negative x axis. 